الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am Brother Abu Dhar from the Ruqya Services I welcome you in a new video In my video today, inshallah ta'ala I am gonna share with you some experience related to Sihr, Black Magic and this information I'm gonna give you it's based upon my experience performing Ruqya on patients and collecting data about the Sihr technique that do the Sihr side effect and signs inshallah ta'ala you will benefit We need to understand that uh, when somebody come to see us affected with sihr, black magic, whatever type of sihr it is, most of the time we find out or we realize it's mainly close people who knows you very well, they will do sihr on you or they will try to practice black magic on you. I don't think many of the cases we see that a stranger or somebody from far will do sihr on the victim. Mostly it is somebody who knows you very well, who's upset with you, who knows about your inside stories and he wants to harm you or gain something from you in a very khabith way by using black magic. For Sihr al-A'udhu to work, you will need somebody who practices magic with the help of the Shayateen al-A'udhu Billah and people will go to see him, we call him as Sihr magicians and he will be practicing certain rituals in order to find the target, meaning the victim, and to cast his spell This is few techniques they will use to cast the spell of black magic One of the most common technique we see magician use to cast the spell on the victim is to use a photo of the victim or mother's name combined with date of birth The photo is because they, when I use the photo to the jinn or the shayateen they are related on this magic in order to identify the person and go and harm him or in order to add needles or locks or blood or any other khabith item on the photo in order to cast the spell. The reason they use the mother's name or they use the date of birth, it's in order to find out where are you exactly from the four elements of water, fire, um, uh, uh, wind or uh, uh, um, ground means earth. This is the four elements the pagan believe in. This is how they use your mother's name and your date of birth to find out your name. It comes from which of these elements and then to use certain cast and spell from the jinns and shayateen in order to find in you and target you. A very common technique we've seen that people use it to, find the, to harm the victim with black magic. It's by the way of feeding, by feeding you the sihr itself. And this can be done in your dream that can feed you or it can be done in reality as you've been invited to a house or you've been given food and however this food contain the black magic effect of Billah and you start working from your stomach this is very common technique that we see used many times as we are taking calls from patients uh, we see people mentioning they found items in their house or items hidden in their uh, in their homes and that's one of the technique as well by throwing certain item or certain elements in your front door or in your back garden or hiding some effect of black magic or the billah in your house in order to harm your house or again by finding your location and that's by using the jinn they can do that however one of the technique we see used it's by giving you certain gifts or giving you certain clothes in order for you to wear and in fact the garment or the clothes themselves they contain the effect of sihr meaning the magician will tell them take this garment uh, and you will be a ta'weed hidden within the garment or effect of sihr red and blown and knotted on the garment or the clothes and they will say give it to the victim or to the person you want to harm and you will see the effects working on them and this will bring us to the main type of magic I'm going to speak about today is the magic by using the DNA the magic with the contact with the body so let us take one example in this magic by using the DNA Sihr by using the, DNA, the, using the DNA we'll take one example let's say um, this, this, this man, he want, this lady, she wants to marry somebody and he let her down and he marries somebody else and she's really uh, uh, bothered about them which I've seen this case like this before and she's hurt 
let's say he, it's, it's her cousin and he married uh, uh, another cousin and he's not married the lady she's, she's upset and let's say this lady that she's upset she will actually uh, her soul be with, be being affected by the wasa of the shayateen and let's say she will find a magician who is practicing sihr al-a'udhu billah and she will tell him i want to harm such and such relationship one of the technique we see happening it's that uh, the magician will ask um, where is the victim where is the target and let's say the, 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 the they don't know where is he based they don't have an idea where they could be one of the technique really is used they tell them can you bring me some of nails of the victim or hair or a garment or clothes that the victim has worn in the past so if the person uh, who wants to cast the spell can get this to the magician which is uh, um, a jacket or a kameez or, or a abaya or, 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 or a jilbab or a hijab uh, of, of the lady in question they want to cast the spell on or of the brother any other type of clothes bear in mind they ask you for this because it contains dna so the magicians we've seen them uh, changing their techniques from time to time they change their techniques and they 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 are we see new techniques every day uh, that's why in the field of the ruqya we have to be careful and we have to refresh inshallah ta'ala our techniques as well to battle the black magic so one of the technique is to catch dna of the person why they're doing this it's because they're going to be using the jinn and the shayateen the kafir from the jinn the shayateen to trace the victim through its dna more or less it's same the example like the police they will use a dog to smell the, the, the whatever left from the burglar or the crime scene and try to trace where is the person that have that smell more or less same example but it happened from animal guy point of view and the jinn can do that somebody can ask me a question and say how can the jinn the shayateen do this by containing our dna and find where we are it's like exactly we need to understand that al jinn al shayateen allah gave them certain power that they never gave to us for example they used to build certain big buildings to Sulaiman alayhi salam they used to dive right deep in the sea to bring uh, Lu and, and Marjan to uh, uh, Sulaiman alayhi salam and Yaqut and when Sulaiman alayhi salam wanted to uh, uh, have the throne of Balqis um, he uh, asked who can bring me the throne of Balqis from Surat al-Naml and the Afrid from the Jinn said I will bring it to you before you get up from your majlis even it's not the Jinn who bought the throne of Balqis we'll make another video about this one day inshallah ta'ala so they have certain ability they can do a proof they can do this it's when i was reading the book of al bidaya wa nihaya it is a collection by imam ibn kathir rahimahullah with the full tafsir of the quran al kareem and al bidaya wa nihaya it's a mawsu'a it's a big collection where imam ibn kathir rahimahullah speaks about full tafsir of the quran al kareem it's been mentioned about the birth of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that iblis Allah knew when the prophet is, was born and knew that his work is going to get harder to misguide the son of adam and again it's been mentioned from the tafsir of, of ibn kathir that uh, when the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received prophecy and the stars um, they are shooting stars they are harming the shayateen coming close to the first heaven to steal the news um, the, the shayateen came back to Iblis and said our work has been stopped and he Iblis said to them bring me a little earth sent from different parts of Kaaba and he smelled it and he said the man we are looking for he's in such and such place and that was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala so yes from the Sharia point of view they will use the DNA in order to use the jinn and the shayateen to find you and try to harm you very often somebody will contact me on my Facebook page or YouTube or phone call and say how do I know I am affected by black magic so I'm gonna mention here uh, some uh, signs or symptoms could show that you are a victim of black magic some of them there will be signs and symptoms as you are awake and some of them will be symptoms as you go to sleep let's go by the symptoms when you are awake first sign i'm going to mention is that you find yourself really far from the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
your heart was to pray, you know that you're a Muslim who wants to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but yet you find it absolutely hard to do wudu and go to pray. And even you manage to go to pray, your khushu', your heart, your iman is not into the subject and you're actually praying and you don't know why you're praying. As well, you will listen to the Quran, but you don't enjoy it. And you feel absolutely away from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You feel like something is stopping you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly. And you will feel mainly you like to do haram and it's easy for you to do the haram and it's actually easy for you to sin. You feel some symptoms of being absolutely fed up and sad and annoyed for no reason. Let's say you're a brother or you're a sister who is financially stable and you have everything in your hand, mashallah, tabarakallah, in order for you uh, in a good state. But yet, you come to your house, you're annoyed. You go to your work, you don't feel like working. You come close to your wife or wife comes close to the husband and you feel you don't want to look at your husband. You feel annoyed by their presence. Look at your children and you feel you don't want to speak to them. You feel like harming them. Everybody is annoying you. Everybody is actually getting into my nerves. And I feel like I want to fight with people. I want to argue with people. I want to pick on people. And my mood is most of the time down. Even I'm happy for a bit and I'm happy and I'm getting excited about something. Still yet, I feel fed up most of the time. And I feel like my mood, it's never straight. It's never on to the point. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm annoyed. I'm not annoyed. I'm angry. I'm sad. I feel anxious, I feel paranoid, I feel like I'm going to build mental health issue. Even yet, I have no reason to have any of the symptoms and it does not make sense why. That's one of the signs. Feeling nauseous from time to time when you eat. Or from time to time when you eat, your stomach is hurting you. And there's a movement like a pulsation happening in your stomach. Sometimes you'll have blood coming from your stool, from the front of the back. And sometimes you will find like, there is heaviness in the shoulders, the back of the neck. There is certain type of headache that hits you in the front of the head or the back of the head and it is actually squeezing you. It comes and go, but when it's there, it really hurtful. Feeling like lower back pain that comes and go. You feel like there is pain, their sensation comes in my lower back, but when, when it's there, it's very harmful. Not in the sense that I cannot move, but in a sense, it's there, it's annoying, it's bothering me. Feeling your hair loss, you lose hair more than usual. And by the body feeling as well, you feel pins and needles that attack your body from time to time and your body feels numb and heavy. As you're about to fall asleep, you feel your body is jumpier, twitchier. You're about to fall asleep, you're about to close your eyes and all of a sudden your body is jumpier. And as you are asleep, you will feel lots of sleep paralysis your body is actually paralyzed and you are between sleep and dream and you want to utter words to seek for help or to snap out of this but yet you find it absolutely hard to snap out of it. One of the signs as well, the feel like you want to isolate yourself. The feel you want to speak to people. You don't want to speak to people. You don't want to mix with people. The feel you want to be alone more than usual and actually you don't know why you want to be alone. You don't know why you want to isolate and you feel annoyed and lack of confidence your speech becomes strange. It's like you do not feel the same even when you are outside of your house or you are with family. That it's absolutely dangerous. We see that happen most of the time. So when we speak about the sihr that is being done in a house or in a building, like I mentioned in my introduction to the video, one of the type of the sihr we said, by throwing certain items or certain um, uh, elements in your house, in your back garden. For example, you find a bone with certain writing on it. You find a ta'weeth, a tamima, a uh, with some knots on it uh, thrown in, in front of your house. You find the blood spread on the wall. You find certain liquid uh, spread in front of, of, uh, of your house comes from nowhere. So really weird activity items. One of these signs and symptoms you're going to find out after a while, it's that um, you will hear noises in your house. You will hear movement in your house. You will hear somebody is called your name. For example, your name is, let's say, uh, uh, Sister Asma. So as you are um, uh, cooking or, or doing something in your house, you feel like, Asma, 
And it's like somebody called me. I, I swear somebody called my name. Seeing a shadow from the corner of your eyes in your house. A weird smell. Let it be good or bad. Sometimes people want to say smell. They say, oh, I hear good smell. It must be good. No, it's not good. Uh, a weird smell that comes to your house. Let it be good or bad. Um, feeling cold in the rooms of your house. Even the heater is on and you feel warm. That there's a certain breeze that comes to, 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 to your body. Uh, feeling a breath. Somebody like going like uh, air breath coming under your neck and um, mainly activities that does not make sense that is main, that means that there is jinn related to black magic they are being active in your house and they are aiming to harm anybody in the house we've done many ruqya for places like this and it's ajib how people they brush it under the carpet they don't think about it they think it's nothing let's pray surah al-baqarah only i agree with you Praying Surah Al-Baqarah is going to help in your building. But if the Salat and the worship of Allah and the Barakah and the Noor of the Deen of Islam, it's not in that building, you are looking for problems. Now, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to mention signs about your dream, visions that should cross your uh, dream. You will see in your uh, dreams, more or less, they can change. But from my own experience, what I've heard from people tell me they see when I do Ruqi on them, prior to me do Ruqi on them, and then we found out it is black magic. A vision of you running from somebody, running for your life, being chased. You actually run very fast and it's like you're running very slow. You cannot go faster and you look and you are threatened by a certain presence and it's going to catch you. In your dreams, if this presence running after you do cut you that is not a good news but if you're still running alhamdulillah meaning you are under target but nothing is happening to you right now seeing yourself flying in the air and falling from a very high spot meaning you go to bed and this dreams repeat itself i'm actually flying like superman like a plane i'm flying in the air and i can see the ground under me and then all of a sudden as i'm flying or i'm a jumper from building to building and I'm actually in the air, I feel gravity. You feel like you are falling down very fast. You're gonna about to hit the ground and then you wake up from your sleep. This is one of the signs. Seeing yourself like you are gonna drown. There is water element in your dream a lot. There is uh, rain, there is uh, waves in the sea, there is rivers, there is uh, tsunamis, and there is earthquake, and there's lots of time you are present in water element that it's common to your dream as a form of harm or uh, earthquake meaning natural disaster that happen itself so much in your dreams that could be a sign the most common one people mention i see well in my dream toilets impurity khabith like sexual intercourse very often with a being that i don't want to touch and dreams that involve you maybe eating the dirt and you are around the dirt and that is one common uh, signs of the black magic as well seeing dogs or snakes in your dream snakes that come close to you or that try to bite you or they are running after you or some dogs they are barking from distance or that come close to you trying to chase you or trying to play with you as well very important you see some other dreams of like black cats could happen uh, crows in your dream or other monsters it's like a lion a tiger but these dreams they should repeat themselves and they should, they should be very present in your vision and they seem very um, very real and you will wake up absolutely scared that's one of the signs as well you wake up with the bruises or scratches in your body especially around the private area or between the legs with your thighs inside the legs thin scratches very thin you not scratch yourself in your sleep but there's scratches happening in your body that is signs of jinn activities from the black magic fighting in your dream a lot you are in a battlefield you fighting you killing snakes killing humans you punching people you constantly in your dream like in a state of defense or in a state of attack you're fighting people that you cannot see their face or sometimes you can see their face but sometimes you kill them, they wake up again, they come coming close to you. That is signs as well of sign of a jinn or sihr or jinn related to sihr al Lots of dreams become very vital to us in the field of Ruqya when we ask patients. However, we need to understand 
not every dream it is a hundred percent decision it is black magic but we use it as an indication the dreams that i mentioned should repeat itself very often and it should be seen more than two to three times a month or a week in order for us to say this is, is from allah is a vision that i am affected from i thank you very much for following me in this video there's so much i want to share with you but i have to keep it simple i don't want to make the video too long because people will skip the video in the next video inshallah ta'ala when i have time i will share with you when we perform ruqya what is the patient should feel if it is black magic side effect as perform on the ruqya because i know lots of you they use the headphones to per to listen to audios online let it be mine or other sheikh audio and then they ask me i felt this and i felt this what's that mean but last how subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for for us and remember allah azza wa jalla saying the quran that the magician despite he will throw his magic despite all this curse he will do only with the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala things will happen and indeed it's good for you. Allah is testing you and Allah is giving you uh, uh, sabr and reward for being patient if you've been tried by black magic. End of the day, somehow it's good for you and Allah Azza wa allowed it for to happen and you will get rewarded in the day of a judgment. Don't lose patience. Keep on your treatment. Don't be paranoid as well. Don't think everything is spiritual but we are here to give you some references inshallah ta'ala. Till the next video. I will share with you for now I leave you for the salama and inshallah ta'ala assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh